So the first challenge that we have is that we, we have lots of data sets across the Air Force, and the question always is, is who has what data? Because we do analysis. We do various okay. analysis based on critical situations. And sometimes you just don't know where the data is. Right. And so that's why one of the reasons why we formed the data panel was to help everyone understand where the data is across the Air Force because simple things like even training data is not located in one place. So if we were correlating, you know, the fuel expenditure analysis we did with the training records, we'd have a difficult time actually finding where the training records were. Sure. That, that's the first challenge. Second challenge we have is... Uh, the t amount of time it takes from the ingestion of the data to the analysis of the data. Some of these cases, we want to do it really quick, and we're talking about petabytes of data rolling in and trying to move that into a, a data center that could actually do the analysis fast enough for us to get something done. And that, that's been a problem all along. Sure. And you just can't say... I mean, it's easy to say. Because you can't, can't keep, you know, data has a sh shelf life, really. Mm -hmm. And, you know, the question for us is this shelf life, in many cases, is only even a week old get stale. Mm -hmm. And so the question becomes, how fast can you actually analyze the data? And so we're talking about, you know, doing machine learning and some other information as well to actually right. get to the point where, where the analyst really can't look at all the data. Right. We have to have a machine to actually do this. And the last thing, of course, is always security. Yeah. Security, security, security. <laughs> Tag the data with security controls, oh, yeah. make sure that the data is secure. Yeah. And we we have quite a few shows on cybersecurity during yeah. the year because it's such a hot topic. Yep.